Rachel is a stoic person. She's pretty to herself. One thing she does that she enjoys is she is an antique collector. Um, I've been collecting antiques since I was probably about, I don't know, nine or ten. Um, I've been going to auctions with my mom since I was really young. She had an antique store with a couple of my aunts, so um, I guess it's just kind of been a family business and I don't know. I kind of started liking different things that I would see at auctions and I guess my own collection kind of started through that. I bought, um, me personally bought or was bought for me. Um, I'd say the first one that I personally bought would probably be my couch. <laughs> it's uh, red velvet, it's um, neo-Victorian which means that it's uh, you know, it's designed to look like a Victorian couch in its architecture, but it's not as large and as mine is velvet. Um, and uh, I mean, like even some of the uh, architectural details of my couch are clearly derivative of uh, Art Deco style instead of the Victorian style that it's a neoclassicism of. Rachel is a senior here at Towson University. She is an electronic media and film major. Her favorite class was film and aesthetics. She enjoyed working with the 16 millimeter camera. My favorite class was probably the 16 millimeter uh, filmmaking class where we worked with like real tangible film. Um, I just really liked the aesthetic quality of the film, I think, and I enjoyed um, working on a narrative project and I especially enjoyed being able to pick whatever I wanted to work on and uh, producing my horror film, which made me really happy. My senior year of undergrad, uh, it's been interesting. It's been hard, it's been tiring, it's been, you know, exhausting, exhilarating. Um, I don't even know. I'd say it's been more trials and tribulations than in previous years. Um, what I've learned from Towson is, uh, you know, filmmaking is an art and it's a very hard, um, I don't know, I guess a hard piece of work to create because you're not only working on, you know, your technical aspects and, you know, your technical ability, but you also have to have an aesthetic quality to what you're doing. So not only is it something technical, it's something artistic, and it's something aesthetic. So I think I've just learned, you know, filmmaking isn't just simply turning on a camera and shooting something and then editing it. It's something that you have to put a lot of craft, a lot of time, a lot of effort, a lot of planning. Um, you're going to go through a lot of mishaps. Things aren't going to work out the way you thought they were going to work out. Um, things are going to get messed up. Um, but, you know, that's filmmaking. That's but, you know, your life as a filmmaker, things are going to happen that you didn't want to happen or things that you didn't expect to happen. You know, you're going to have to work through a lot of stuff. You're going to have to put tons and tons and tons of effort into whatever you're making to make it perfect. And, you know, it's just, it's a lot harder than I think a lot of people understand or what they would think that we have to do.